Dr. Tanya Ruggieri, a psychiatrist at the Hartford Healthcare Institute of Living. Doctor, welcome back. Hey, good morning. So what exactly is transcranial magnetic stimulation and how does it work? So that's called TMS for short. Basically what we do is use an MRI strength magnet uh, on the left prefrontal cortex where we think depression originates from. And the pulses from the magnet would create uh, excit excitation in those neurons. Uh, that would lead to increased glucose metabolism, increased blood flow, and hopefully an improvement of, of symptoms. All right, tell us who is a candidate for this treatment? Basically, any patient with a diagnosis of major depressive disorder who's tried at least two medication trials. Most people have actually had more than two medication trials, uh, but typically that's our cutoff. So unfortunately, this procedure is not yet FDA approved for conditions such as schizophrenia, generalized anxiety disorder, or bipolar disorder. Okay, so we're talking depression. All right, how often would patients need this treatment? So our patients come in Monday through Friday. A typical course is six weeks, six weeks long. Uh, the first treatment is about two hours. So it's a, it's a long, long period of time, but after that, most treatments are about 40, 40 minutes long. All right, so you've told us that these patients don't respond well to medication, even after they've tried to. They try this. How successful is TMS? So if you look at three typical patients who undergo this treatment, one will have complete remission of symptoms, one of those will have a partial remission, and one out of three may not have too, too much of a, an improvement. So better than medication. All right, are there side effects? There are. Most of the time people tell us that they tolerate it just fine um, because of the tapping sensation that the magnet causes. So it doesn't hurt, uh, but some people will have some sensitivity at the site of the tapping. They might have a headache after. Some people are lightheaded after treatments. The good news is that the more treatments someone has, the less often that these side effects happen. And I would say most people actually have no problems at all. Okay, and tell us, last question, how is this different from ECT or shock therapy? ECT stands for electroconvulsive therapy or shock therapy, right? It's a much older procedure. Um, it's very effective, um, pretty safe, but it's definitely more invasive. That treatment induces seizures with a very small current. Uh, because of that, people need an IV, anesthesia. So because of the nature of the procedure, they usually can't drive, you know, they can't drive home, they can't drive during the typical course of a procedure. The good news with TMS is that people can drive, they can drive themselves to appointments, uh, and a lot of people still go to school and still work during the treatments. All right, Dr. Tanya Ruggieri, thank you so much. Great information for so many. Thanks for having me. Thank you.